Hi there. If you hear a meow, it's my cat meowing. Come here. This is one of my cats. You're so cute. This is Latte. So cute. I love you. I know I sound crazy. I love animals. And I have another cat. And then his name is TJ. Today, it was so sad. I, I found a squirrel dead in our street. And it was the saddest thing. I think he had a heart attack because he, he didn't have any like um, cuts or like he didn't get run over by a car. It was just dead, perfectly in a great condition, but dead. So I had to bury him, I buried him. I know I've been using this concealer. Awesome concealer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use this. Yes, and I'm using my fingers. I'm gonna use the brown. Okay, I have a mirror right there. Let me just kind of adjust my camera. Okay, I hope you're having a good day today. It's so funny because I do love this, uh, um, it's a color correcting concealer. And it's beautiful, it really is. Um, it's so soft and I just put it all over my face. You're like, what is she doing? You know, it's so funny when we do like um, camera work, you know, or. We have makeup artists on our set when we're doing movies. You won't believe the things we do to the artists. You know, I mean, they're, they're just, they, we make them so beautiful. You know, it's not just one product that we use, as you know, we use so many different products. And this, we use it as a foundation. I have, I mean, so I'm using it as a foundation. So I'm just kind of going around. Hi, mom. Hi, brother. And I'm, <laughs> it was my, I celebrated my brother's birthday today with my sister. And of course my sister's so funny. She's like, you're a month late. I, well, you know, I'm very bad with dates. I'm so bad with dates. And she's so good with dates. So here we go. I put the concealer on. See how smooth, I mean, see, look how smooth it is. Look at my hair. Yes, my hair is crazy. It's. My, my, I can hear my brother saying, brush your hair. But you know, this is my hair. <laughs> and I just don't like to brush my hair. I know it looks so bad, but my hair is like this. And I do, you know, and I, I take a shower, I blow dry my hair. Then I kind of, you know, with a big, big round brush, I just kind of brush all the waves out. I just don't like my waves, but. Anyway, that's what it is. Okay, so then, so I put the concealer all over my face. It just looks so smooth. Then I'm gonna get my mascara, uh huh? And then I'm gonna put it on my eyebrows. Okay, just like that. Just like that. And you, if you have beautiful brown eyebrows, use that on your beautiful eyebrows. Then I'm gonna use a mascara like that same thing that i used on my eyebrows okay as i mentioned i don't put mascara on my lower lashes i just don't do it i don't like it i for some i don't know it just makes me feel funny it just makes me feel weird when i put it underneath my underneath my low i mean under my uh, eyebrows, I mean eyebrows, underneath my lower lash, it just doesn't make me feel, it just doesn't, it, I just don't like it. It makes me look older. I know, you know, I talked about this, Cindy Crawford said that I never, it's not because of Cindy Crawford, but she did mention that she, she doesn't like to wear when she was, well, I think she, when she was modeling, she had to do what the, you know, what they told her to do. But even when she's like, you know, in her house and she's going shopping, whatever she's doing, having dinner, she would never put, when she would put her, must, uh, her makeup on, she would never put lashes on 
right here at the lower lashes. So, okay. So I'm gonna use my my Elf um, goodness, and I'm gonna put a little bit of my blue. You know how much I love blue. I know you're like, what is she doing? Yes, I use my fingers. I don't like. I mean, I have brushes, believe me, I do, but I just don't like to use them. I don't need to use them. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna is again is my elf and I'm gonna put a little bit here and a little bit here yes I am just because it says I'm not it's for it's not for contouring your nose well I am gonna do a contouring on my nose okay so I'm gonna get this beautiful brown eyeshadow and I'm gonna put it right here, okay? Okay, now, then I'm gonna get my sponge and I'm just gonna tap and my mom's like, don't rub your face. Okay, so, but do you see how easy? I mean, it's, I used a brown eyeshadow and it lasts a long time. And guess what? My face is a little sticky because of this amazing, Next corrector. Hmm. So that's, you know, that's why it's just sticking really well. See? And then I'm going to do my nose. I have a mirror right there. And I'm going to do my nose. La la la. Okay. Okay. Just very natural. I mean, I like my eye, my eyebrows are dark already. I mean, I like it a little bit darker. As you know, I use my mascara to make it darker. I use my mascara to use, you know, to put my, my eyebrows are a little bit darker, you know, and I like that. You can even make your um, nose a little bit darker. There we go again with my e.l.f. You can use Elf, you can use Wet and Wild, whatever you have. And just kind of, okay. The extra, I'm gonna put it right on my bone. The bone is right here. And the, I'm sure you have seen that when you are putting on, like I have this, Wonderful, wet and wild. I think it's three dollars. I'm gonna put it right here. Up. It just gives you a face left. At any age, really. Okay. You know, I, I remember when um, I dated my makeover in New York City. It was, I think it was um, NARS, yeah. It was NARS, and wow, the, my makeup artist was so amazing. I was walking around inside of Saks Fifth Avenue, New York. I'm not kidding you, and I'm not trying to show up, but people would stop me, and they're like, your makeup is so perfect. You know, and this makeup artist was amazing. That she, she just, she was amazing when she did my makeup. And I went back and um, this is a Saks makeup artist and we became friends and she was hilarious. And, um, but they did so many, since I've been back to New York, but it has changed so much. Saks Fifth Avenue had a face left and they, that, they did so much with the whole entire Saks Fifth Avenue that I pretty much was raised in Saks Sax Fifth Avenue in New York, but now it was like so strange. I couldn't find my place. I didn't know which way to They moved so many different things. It's like, ugh. You know, and it took me a while to figure out where I was going and I didn't like that. I'm like, oh, it's confusing. But uh, it is beautiful. Saks Fifth Avenue in New York City, if you haven't been, you should definitely try. And um, 
I don't think there's Barney's of New York. I think went out of business. I don't think Barney's is there anymore. So I'm using this again. It's a blush. But see how pretty that is? Not pretty. I love it. And then you can just put that on again on here. On here. And then I have. Rawr. Look, that's hilarious. This is by Charlotte. And the lipstick is beautiful. Look at the lipstick. I have it on, of course. And beautiful, very moist. I'm loving it. Very pretty. It's very natural. I mean, I don't have a lot of eyeshadow on. I hope you like this. Um, but it's just very beautiful and very light and very... Um, I don't know. Is this spring summery? I think it's just every season. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, it's what makes me feel good, right? It's what make you feel good. I don't know. Who cares? If you want to put summer lipstick, put it on. What do, and nowadays, fashion is like whatever you want want it to be, right? It's whatever you want to wear. It doesn't matter. It, what makes you feel good, right? <laughs> right. Well, I thank you so much for watching this. I appreciate that. And then I hope you like this. And, um, you know, my shorts are fun too. If you have time, watch my shorts and subscribe if you don't mind. I appreciate that. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye. <laughs>